Hello everyone! In this video, we will review the redesigned PDF Entries feature of the Cost Calculator Builder plugin. With our new powerful builder, you can craft stunning, customizable PDF receipts. Whether you need quotes, invoices, or detailed summaries, elevate your document game with seamless functionality and professional, ready-to-use templates. So let's dive in and see how it works. To activate the PDF Entries in the plugin, open the global settings and move to the PDF Entries tab. Enable the toggle Activate PDF Entries. Before starting the customization, let's overview our builder's interface. On the left side, you can see the preview of our PDF. It is divided into a body and a sidebar parts. On the right side, builder settings are organized into three sections. In the first section, you can play with the ready-to-use templates and set the global settings for the document. Our PDF has been constructed using a wide range of predefined blocks. The body and sidebar sections contain these blocks. If you click on any blocks in the preview, their respective settings will be opened here. Blocks can be enabled or disabled as well as reordered, even within the body and sidebar sections. Now let's learn how to build good-looking PDF documents. First, choose one of the pre-built templates and rename it according to your needs. After saving the template, it will be stored in the My Templates tab along with other templates you saved. There is an option to restore the template's original style and edit the button label to download the PDF in the calculator. If you click on the Preview button, a printable PDF version of the document will be opened in the new tab. If you turn on the setting, the PDF download button will be shown only after the payment. In the Document section, we will set some global settings for our document. It has been organized into three tabs. The Body tab is responsible for setting up global settings for the body part of the document. You can change the text color, background color, image, and paddings. Padding is a space between the border of the document and its content. In the sidebar, we will set the global settings for the sidebar part of the document. First, choose the sidebar position. As you see, we have three options to choose from – left sidebar, no sidebar, and right sidebar. If you choose no sidebar option, blocks in the sidebar section will be moved to this body section automatically. If you do not enable the text and background color settings, they will be inherited from the body. In the last step, border settings for the PDF document can be enabled and set up. Choose the border type, color, and size according to your needs, but I don't want borders in my doc. Alright, now we can see all of the blocks in our builder one by one. Let's start with the brand block. This is the block where you have to highlight your company. First, in the logo tab, select or upload your company logo and adjust the width and height of the image. Move to the name block and enter your company name and adjust the font size. You can apply the font color for the company name if you don't want to use the global settings of the block. In the slogan tab, your company slogan can be indicated. Settings are the same as the name tab. And the last tab is design. Almost every block has this tab in its settings. Here you can adjust the alignment and set the background color for this block. As usual, if the setting is disabled, it will be inherited from the global settings in the document. Next, here comes the order block, the most important block of PDF entries. It displays the order details, calculations, total price, and more. Additionally, you can add a QR code, stamp, and its signature to improve the document's overall look and confidentiality. Order details will be generated by the calculator automatically according to the user input in the calculator. This setting also allows you to control the display of the payment method. When it comes to QR code, any URL link can be pasted here. The plugin generates a QR code automatically. In the Images tab, stamp and signature images can be selected. Actually, you can use these image fields to meet your needs. It's not mandatory to upload a stamp image to the stamp image field or a signature to the signature image field. It is designed to insert a specific image into the specific location of the order block. In the Lines tab, there is an availability to modify the line size and colors of the separating lines and the border of the order block. Colors for the heading and table backgrounds, as well as text, can be changed in the Design tab. Now here comes the footer text. It has been designed to store the concluding last information for the document, usually in a smaller font size. Enter your footer text and adjust its design according to your needs. Our next block is the Top Text block. 
Here you can include your thank you message to the customers for using your service. It is better to place this block in the top part of your document. It has two tabs in its settings like the footer text. Enter the heading and the main text. Modify the colors and alignment in the design tab as needed. Order ID and date block puts the unique order ID and order creation date in the PDF document. You have to enter the labels in the ID and date tabs of the block. The rest info will be generated automatically. By the way, there is an availability to select the date and time format. As usual, you can play with the design of the block if you do not want to inherit colors from the global settings. Company block is designed to share generated information about your company, mostly contact information. Indicate the block title and the main text then move to the contact tab. In this tab, you have four options to share different ways to contact your service. Enter the contact type such as phone, email, or messaging app and then provide the corresponding information in the next column. In the last row, you have a text area that is designed to store the address of your company. The design tab is similar to other blocks. Another important block we have is the customer block. It shares the user entered information in the contact or order form. You have to give the title to the block only, the rest of the job will be done by the cost calculator automatically. But note that, in case the user downloads the PDF before filling in the order or contact form, the block will be omitted in the document. We provide two additional blocks that you can customize based on your needs, an additional text block and an image block. As their names suggest, these blocks allows you to insert extra text or images into your PDF form. Good, we have completed the PDF customization process, our template is ready. Click on the Publish and Save buttons. After that, users will be able to download this PDF receipt in the calculator. Moreover, users can send this PDF to any email address just on the calculator page. To enable this feature, open the Order Form tab in the Global Settings and turn on the Email Quote button. Fill in the required fields and make sure to set up SMTP settings on your WordPress site. You can enable PDF download and send email code buttons for the confirmation page as well. In the individual settings of the calculator, move to the confirmation page and enable the related settings. Do not forget to save the calculator. Great, now let's see the result of our work. As you see, I have a PDF download button which redirects me to the tab where I can download the file or print it. If I click on the Send Code button, a pop-up opens, fill it in, and the PDF file will be sent my message to this email address. At the same time, once an order is created, the admin can access these features in the Orders tab. We hope you will enjoy the PDF and Trice feature of the Cost Calculator Builder plugin. Smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.